if you believe that you are an addict, then the following applies to you. When it comes to substances, such as nicotine, alcohol, cocaine or opioids, it really doesn't matter what your addiction is. Addiction means that the addict keeps putting the particular substance, whatever it is, into your body when your true overriding desire is never to put that substance in your body again. So, you have an addiction. An addiction to nicotine due to smoking or vaping. Today, you are about to quickly, easily and enjoyably break your addiction to nicotine. And, once it is broken, and therefore in more manageable parts, all parts of you will simply, happily and very much successfully discard all parts of this addiction forever. Let's look at this logically. Using only logic and rational thought, you will remove all trace of nicotine from every corner of your mind, your behaviour and your brain. Good. You have been doing something that you no longer want to do. You have allowed nicotine to become part of your life at some point in the past. But now, in your heart of hearts, in the profoundest part of you, deep in the core of your true self, you simply do not want this anymore. The truth is, you do not want to put nicotine inside of you anymore. And in order to bring this addiction to an end, all you need to do is imagine what I ask you to imagine, see what I ask you to see, and most importantly, listen to the very end of this recording. And if you can do this, then very soon you will be free of nicotine forever. Generally, we only do those things that we don't want to do because something is forcing us to do it against our will. Is this the case here? Not really. We find in our situation that very peculiarly, we are acting in a contradictory manner, in that we choose to do something that we would rather not do. Almost as if we were being forced into making a choice against our will. Almost as if you are walking down a corridor, and at the end of the corridor you come across two doors a red one and a blue one. You know that healthy self-respect lies through the blue door, and so it's the blue door that you want to go through, but for some reason the red door is, right now, right at this moment, more attractive to you than the blue door. So, you've been going through the red door instead of the blue door knowing in your heart of hearts that every time you go through the red door, your addiction gets worse. And going through the red door is becoming upsetting. From time to time you manage to make yourself abstain for a while and go through the blue door. You are pleased with this. But, having gone through the blue door and walking a little way down the corridor of life, you come again quite soon across two doors. One red and one blue. You have to make your decision again. Up to now, you've been in the situation where you have eventually given up and gone through the red door again. And found yourself back at the beginning of this upset. So, the two doors, one blue and one red, 
is the way this situation is painted. The two doors choice represents your situation. What you don't yet know about the two door system is this, however. You don't know how deeply your choice of door affects you. If you choose to go through the red door often enough, then, eventually, you'll die. And as you know very well indeed without me having to tell you, you'll die in a way that's not very pleasant for anyone concerned. The good news, however, is, if you go through the blue door continuously, you'll notice that the red door appears less and less frequently, and, eventually, the red door will disappear from your mind altogether. Now, knowing this fact, realizing the undeniable truth of this, you feel something respond inside, something that you thought was no longer there. Your desire to put an end to this addiction permanently is stronger than you thought. Feel that? Yes. Good. That means this will work. Okay, here's how it goes. If you really want to break this addiction permanently, then keep listening until the end of this recording and your addiction will be broken. We're just about to start the process where you act on the truth of what you know about nicotine and create new mental pathways for a life that does not include nicotine. That's right. So, first, a little preparation. If you can do the following three things, then you will succeed wonderfully. The three things are... Imagine what I ask you to imagine. See what I ask you to see. And keep listening to the very end of this recording. And so, if they are not already, please close your eyes. Make yourself comfortable where you are right now. And imagine, if you would, that you are in the corridor I described earlier. And walking along this corridor represents you walking through life. You are walking through life one day. Let's make it today. And you come across two doors. A red door and a blue door. One of which you have to go through. Going through the red door means strengthening your addiction. Whilst going through the blue door represents weakening your addiction. Let's look at this more closely. Both the red door and the blue door have your name clearly marked on them. Neither of the doors have door handles, and neither of the doors have letter boxes. If you stand in front of either of the doors, they open automatically. So try this for me, please. Go up to the red door, and you see the red door opens automatically, but don't go through it. Look on the floor on the other side of the red door. You see a yellow doormat. Good. Now, step back and go and stand in front of the blue door. It opens automatically for you. Look on the floor on the other side of the blue door. There is no doormat there. Yet. Now, Here's something that your addiction didn't expect. Here's something that will mean that your addiction cannot last any longer than this session. I want you to do something that will change everything for you permanently. Go back to the red door, but don't go through it. 
Now, as the door opens for you, simply bend down and pick up the yellow doormat that lies on the other side of the red door. You'll notice, if you look at the doormat closely, that it's not yellow, truly. It's really made of golden thread. It sparkles and it sort of tingles in your hand. Good. Now, approach the blue door with the golden doormat in your hand. Wait for the blue door to open and place the golden doormat on the other side of the blue door. Done that? Good. Now, the golden doormat is very important. It represents the pleasant feeling that you get from ingesting nicotine, so it's clear why the red door had the golden doormat on the other side of it, and the blue one didn't. You have weakened your addiction enormously just by moving the doormat. Before, when you chose to ingest nicotine and went through the red door, you immediately stepped on the golden doormat on the other side, which gave you the good feeling. And that good feeling was, obviously, the reason you kept ingesting nicotine, which led to your addiction. You have now turned the whole thing on its head by placing the golden doormat on the other side of the blue door. Now, when you choose not to ingest nicotine by going through the blue door, you will immediately step on the golden carpet and get a good feeling. But this time, the good feeling will not arise from taking nicotine. No. Now the good feeling will come from ignoring nicotine. So now, when you choose not to smoke or vape, when you go through the blue door, you'll feel just as good as if you had gone through the red door. How amazing is that? It means that stopping smoking or vaping it's going to be so very easy indeed. And I'd like you to experience that now. Stand back from the two doors and bring directly into mind what the doors represent. And the fact that you have moved the golden doormat from the other side of the red door and placed it on the other side of the blue door. And so, since practice makes perfect, you're now going to practice this and practice this and practice this. It's the way you got into this situation and therefore, this is the way you're going to get out of it. No complaints there. Good. Every time you go through the blue door, you build your self-esteem. Every time you go through the blue door, you are reminded that you are doing the right thing. Every time you go through the blue door, everything gets better. You feel more comfortable about yourself, your life and your health. This is just so easy and you never expected it would be quite this easy, did you? But there's no denying that. All of this is just so straightforward, easy, and quite wonderful. Something was missing in your life that you were trying to fill with nicotine. For a while it worked, but ingesting nicotine is not the way, because this could only make your situation worse. Now, choosing not to smoke or vape is what fills the space. 
where something was missing. Because every time you choose to go through the blue door, you get that need met by stepping on the golden doormat. How neat. How appropriate. How clever. Now, all of this has occurred in your conscious mind. Let's go deeper. Let's do this in your unconscious mind. Your other mind. The mind that knows. The mind that does. And in order to do that, you merely need to relax sufficiently. And so, if you would, for me now, please take a deep breath. Hold it for a breath. And then, when you're ready, let it out slowly. That's right. And now, kindly turn your outward focus inwards. Look down into your own stomach and notice that there, at the very center of your being, you see a spark of light, gentle blue glowing light that, as you watch, as you become fascinated by this delightful, mesmerizing, comforting, attractive blue light, this light begins to get brighter, to expand become vibrant and meaningful. Approach the light. Go deeper down into this light, this warm, welcoming, comforting, pleasing light. So much deeper into it, allowing it to envelop you now, losing yourself in abandoning yourself to it. It's a lovely feeling, a gorgeous feeling to just let go, to disappear into this light. And notice now a lovely smell, a delightful smell, a smell that reminds you of safety, and respect and acceptance, a good smell, a smell that complements this beautiful light, making you want to go much deeper into this. And so, going ever deeper, ever inwards, now the outside world fades away and is forgotten, left behind. You have something so very important to do here. Your interest lies here. You want this. You see a door in front of you, representing the chance of a crucial life change, a change of direction, crossing over now to the path of freedom and release. You want to go through that door, that blue door, right in front of you now, with your name on it. And choosing to go through that door is your first step to full recovery. You approach the door. It opens for you automatically. And you step through into a different life. Good. Now, on the other side, you find yourself in the corridor that I described to you earlier. 
you walk a short way down this corridor. The corridor widens a little, and you are now faced with your choice of doors. A red door and a blue door. Your unaddiction process continues here. First, we need that golden doormat. Please approach the red door, but when it opens, you don't go through it. The red door opens for you. You bend down, you pick up the golden doormat, and step back. The red door closes again without you having gone through it. You get a rather nice feeling from this. Now, please approach the blue door. The blue door opens for you. You bend down, you place the doormat on the other side of the door, pass through the blue doorway, step on the mat, and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach. Excellent. Now, please pick up the golden doormat as the door closes behind you. Wonderful. You've just taken your first step away from this addiction. And why did you get a good feeling when you chose the blue door? You get a good feeling when you choose to go through the blue door because you feel good about breaking this addiction. Of course you do. Now, some science. Did you know that the high that you get from any drug is produced not by the chemical itself, but purely by the powerful abilities of your own brain. All the chemical does, you see, is deliver an instruction set. A set of instructions to the brain to feel a certain way. And the brain, on receiving these instructions, allows a good feeling to appear in consciousness. Your brain is more than capable of doing this all by itself without the instruction set from the chemical. In much the same way that a chef is quite capable of cooking food without having to be told to do so. Which means that you can get your brain to produce the good feeling by instructing it to do so every time you don't ingest nicotine. Which is why the doormat swap works. This is why you will now get the high you used to get from smoking or vaping when you choose not to smoke or vape. Let's keep going down the corridor. Let's keep going through this day. After going a certain distance, you again come across two doors, a red one and a blue one. Both of them have your name on them, and you know what each of these doors represents. You have your golden doormat in hand as you approach the door. The blue door opens for you. You place the doormat on the other side of the door, pass through the blue doorway, step on the mat, and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach. Couldn't be much easier, could it? What a wonderful surprise! You're beginning to accept the truth about nicotine addiction. And that is that nicotine addiction is very easy to break. What's more, breaking your nicotine addiction in this way is also truly enjoyable, because this just feels so good. And this is all you need to do. Every time you come to the choice of doors, you go through the blue door. So. Let's do it.
keep on walking down your corridor and after a certain amount of time has passed again you are faced with a choice of doors for you must make your decision about this addiction by choosing the blue door you break your addiction so straightforward here are the two doors with your golden doormat in hand you approach the blue door which automatically opens for you you place the doormat on the other side of the door pass through the blue doorway step on the mat and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach brilliant you've made the right choice and the good feeling you have confirms this this is becoming your new habit a new healthy happy helpful habit that saying no thanks to your old unwanted dirty smelly fatal habit so of course it feels good feel just how good that feeling feels more time passes you come across the two doors you choose the blue door which opens automatically for you you place the doormat on the other side of the door pass through the blue doorway step on the mat and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach so easy and you know the evidence that this is working is becoming apparent too as you continue to walk down this corridor the bare walls are taking on the appearance of your daily life you know you're still walking down the corridor but now you can see things that you see in your daily life people sights smells textures of your daily life in fact you're now living your daily life in all its aspects and as you walk through each day every so often you come across the two doors your choice of doors your choice of whether to smoke or vape or not you choose the blue door which opens automatically for you you place the doormat on the other side of the door pass through the doorway step on the mat and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach so this is becoming your new habit your habit of not doing something you used to do and it feels absolutely right absolutely sensible and absolutely precisely what you really want to do from now on you go through the blue door now here's something truly amazing in this place time is quite elastic I'd like you now to go through a whole day where each time you come to a choice of doors you go through the blue door so you imagine you get up in the morning that's right you begin your day walking along your corridor of life and when you come to the choice of doors to go through you choose the blue door which opens automatically for you you bend down place the doormat on the other side of the door pass through the blue doorway step on the mat and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach you keep walking and after a certain amount of distance you've traveled you come again to the choice of doors you choose the blue door which opens automatically for you you place the doormat on the other side of the door 
pass through the blue doorway, step on the mat, and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach. You do this each time you come to a choice of doors to go through. And eventually, after going through lots of blue doors, it gets to bedtime. And you go to bed, delighted that you've now spent an entire day clean and free of nicotine. And you spend the night dreaming of choosing the blue door, time after time after time. A really, really, really good feeling. Well done. Now, the next day, you wake, you get up, and you do exactly the same thing. Each time you come to a choice of doors, you choose the blue door, which opens automatically for you. You place the doormat on the other side of the door. You pass through the blue doorway, step on the mat, and immediately there's a lovely feeling in your stomach. You encounter all of the various things that occur in your life, your normal daily life doing exactly the same thing, at work, during breaks, after work, at home, in your social life, everything, even during unexpected things. Every time you encounter the two doors, you go through the blue door, and the more you do it, the better you feel, all the way until bedtime. You go to bed delighted. You go to bed to sleep. You dream all night of choosing the blue door in every situation that you can imagine. You awake the next day. You get up and you start another day choosing the blue door. Each and every time you come to the choice of doors. At the end of the day, you go to bed. You dream about choosing the blue door, and the next morning you get up and go through the same process. Always, always, always choosing the blue door. And for the next three days and three nights, waking and sleeping, you do exactly the same thing. Each time the choice of doors presents itself to you, you choose to go through the blue door. Do you know, you've now gone through an entire week with your new habit of not smoking, not vaping. And each day you get up in the morning, you feel better and better. And more and more convinced that this is the way that works for you. So, now you Go through another full week of this. The process is becoming automatic now. That's two full weeks. So, here's the way it's going to go. You feel so good in mind, body and spirit that you've given up smoking permanently now. But you're now feeling exceptionally positive about the idea of going through the blue door every time you come to the choice of doors. You've successfully managed 14 days, so now you're going to make that into 14 weeks. And it's going to be so easy. You start your first day. And now it hardly enters your mind to choose because now you automatically go through the blue door when you come to your choice of doors. The first week goes by so very, very quickly. And you enter now the second week of the 14. By the end of the second week, you begin to notice something as you continue down the corridor of life. The paint on the red door is beginning to flake off. 
and there's a spider's web in one of the corners of the doorframe. You get to the end of the week fully satisfied with your enormous achievement. During the third week, as you continue down the corridor of your life, day after day, choosing the blue door every single time, you notice something truly, truly wonderful. The part of you that decided to start smoking in the first place all that long time ago is now walking with you, is now of the same mind as the rest of you. The part of you that decided to start smoking in the first place has understood and has decided to be a non-smoker too. This makes everything so much easier. During the fourth week, you notice that another part of you, the part of you that has kept you smoking up until you started this guided meditation, has also now seen the light and is also now of exactly the same mind as the rest of you. And this means you find all parts of you are now joining this walk down this corridor. Each and every part of you is together now on this. And let me tell you, because of this, your success is assured. So, you've now successfully managed four weeks of being smoke-free. You now experience the seven days and nights of the fifth week, a confirmed non-smoker. The fifth week is even easier and even more enjoyable. Now, each week that you go through, something wonderful changes in your mind and your behavior and your experience of life. So, that's five whole weeks of being smoke-free. You now experience the seven days and seven nights of the sixth week, a relieved non-smoker. And during this, the sixth week, you notice that now you are so much less anxious as a whole. And because this is due to the fact that you are now a happy non-smoker, that feeling is locked in. So, that's now six full weeks of being smoke-free. You now experience the seven days and seven nights of the seventh week as a habitual non-smoker and during the seventh week it becomes crystal clear to you that you absolutely love being a non-smoker and that this is all so much easier than you could have imagined it's becoming a simple joy in itself Going through the blue door is something you love now. So, you've experienced seven weeks of being happily smoke-free. You now experience each day and night of the eighth week a joyful non-smoker. And during the eighth week, you realize you have a growing confidence a rock-solid confidence that you are now unwilling to surrender one little bit. You feel strong and centered within yourself. 
how good is that? So, you've experienced eight weeks of being completely smoke-free. You now experience each day and each night of the ninth week a complete non-smoker. During the ninth week, there's a growing realization that you're generally much more capable than you previously believed. This is better than you could have imagined. This is more than giving up smoking. This is rebuilding your entire character. This is wonderful. So, that's now nine whole weeks of being completely smoke-free. You now experience each day and each night of the tenth week a delighted non-smoker. And during the tenth week, a new certainty takes residence in your stomach. You know now as an undeniable fact that you will never put nicotine in your body again. And this feels truly wonderful. You've now experienced 10 weeks of being smoke-free. You experience each day and each night of the 11th week a 100% non-smoker. And during the 11th week, it becomes clear to you that you are no longer making a conscious choice about choosing which door to go through. You always choose the blue door. It's become automatic. Of course it has. You're a happy non-smoker. So, you've experienced 11 weeks of being totally smoke-free. And you now experience each day and each night of the twelfth week, an ecstatic non-smoker. And during the twelfth week, you begin to forget what being a smoker was like. You forget about smoking permanently now. You can, and so you do. You've now enjoyed 12 weeks of being 100% smoke-free. You now experience each day and each night of the 13th week a natural non-smoker. And during the 13th week, you feel that your brain has changed physically. All and any desire to smoke or vape has disappeared. It now seems completely obvious to you that you can never smoke again. Indeed, it feels now as if you never were a smoker. The very idea of smoking is idiotic, disgusting, stupid, awful, truly unappealing. You can't imagine how you could possibly have ever done such an awful thing. So, you've experienced 13 weeks of being completely smoke-free. You now experience each day and each night of the 14th week a permanent non-smoker. And so, you pass through the 14th week without thinking about smoking at all. Now, the only door for you is the blue door. You are now incapable of choosing the red door. You wouldn't choose the red door anymore because, quite simply, you understand in every fibre of your body every cell and sinew of your body that going through the red door would be self-harm. All temptation to smoke or vape 
has now evaporated. The thought of smoking or vaping is now so horribly unpleasant that you no longer even consider doing it. Your subconscious mind, the part of you that understands, the part of you that protects you, no longer even allows the thought to enter consciousness. You don't mind other people smoking. That's completely up to them. But for you, absolutely not. Now, something wonderful. Look down the corridor. See the light at the end. The light at the end of the tunnel. You know what that means. It's getting brighter as you get nearer. So bright now. So close. Here, now, you pass out into the light and you have a new life. A clean life. A happy life. Something to do now that you're a non-smoker. You no longer suck your thumb. You no longer even think of smoking. The image you have of your own self, your self-image, see now, see clearly now, that your self-image is one of a non-smoker. Your old self-image of you as a smoker lies discarded on the floor. You are now a non-smoker, and your self-image now reflects this. Of course it does. And not only that, it feels so good. Of course it does. So now, I would like you to see the future in your mind and project your new self-image all over it, through it, merging with it. That's right. You're making this real. Making this is true. Of course it is. You are a non-smoker, a blue door through goer, and you always will be. After all, this is what you truly, truly want. You feel free, because you are free. You feel clean, because you are clean. You feel like a winner. Of course you do. You are a winner. You won. You have beaten your addiction and now it no longer seems like an addiction because now you have no interest whatsoever in nicotine in any form. You just want to stay away from it. You never, ever, ever ever want to even be associated with this substance. But your overriding feeling is one of joy, of pure joy, of being free of this filthy tasting, nasty smelling, psychologically revolting, awful, ridiculous substance. Forever and ever and ever. So good. You have done so well. The non smoker, as you, now gradually returns to full consciousness. You remember where you are. 
You remember all those weeks of being a happy and contented and confirmed non-smoker. And so now, your eyes open, never to smoke again. Hello, non-smoker. And now, you know that you have changed in a fundamental manner concerning nicotine. You are delighted with this change. This change has changed everything. You have done so very well indeed. You've escaped. And now your aversion to nicotine is agreed upon and accepted in each and every part of you. You are unified on this enterprise and therefore, your continued success is assured. And, now that you've regained your self-respect, all sorts of things are so much easier for you. You have a strong, unbreakable feeling of underlying confidence. Of course you do. And you deserve a huge amount of praise, a huge amount of respect. You have done the most amazing, incredible thing. You have beaten the most difficult addictions of them all. You are a winner amongst winners. Thank you. If you have benefited from this video, Please subscribe, like, and comment. I'd be so very, very grateful. Thanks again.